In this self-care mobility routine, we're gonna do a combo move for our lower body, and then we're going to hit up the neck and then finish off with a great stability exercise. If you don't have time right now, make sure you save this video and come back to it and put aside at least 10 minutes to finish it. But I hope you enjoy. A hip flexor stretch to a hamstring stretch. I'm gonna count this as two stretches because it's a combo move. We'll start off in a half kneeling position, which just means one knee on the ground, one leg out in front. I like it to be around 90 degrees with the knee. If it's more, then you have to be a little bit more flexible. If you're not as flexible, bring that foot in just a little bit. But one leg out in front. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift forward, getting a good stretch on our hip flexor. Arms come over ahead, lean back slightly. And then we're going to drop our hip back, straighten this front leg out, sink down, getting a hamstring stretch. This front leg can be slightly bent, it can be straight, everyone's gonna be different, find what works best for you. Because this is counts for two, we're gonna do 10 reps on each side. Nice good rhythm here, not too fast, nice, not too slow. And we'll do 10 on the left, we'll do 10 on the right. Let's go and try to keep everything pointing in one direction. So when we're doing our hip flexor stretch, try to keep our hips, our shoulders, and our head pointing forward. Don't let anything open up too much. Here we go. Good one. Good two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoa, and I got a little unbalanced on that last one. Let's do 10 on the other side. Here we go. Shift forward, arms overhead, sink back, hips back, strain that front leg out. Good one. Good two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and 10. 20 reps total, 10 reps on each side, hip flexor stretch to a hamstring stretch. That counted for two, so let's go to number three, and that is going to be a half kneeling T-spine windmill. Need a wall for this. If you don't have a wall, I'll give you an alternative. But what we're going to do is you're going to take one leg, the inside leg, place it out in front just like we were, so half kneeling, one leg on the ground, one leg out in front, so that front leg is going to be closest to the wall. The closer you get to the wall, the tougher it's going to be. So if you struggle with this, or you know that you're limited in T-spine rotation, then just back off the wall a little bit. Both arms out in front, and then you're going to take one hand, the one closest to the wall, place it on the wall, and then you're going to make a big arc with that hand. So drag that hand on the wall, start turning your palm towards the wall when you get to the top, and then we're going to look and rotate all the way. Again, if this is too tough for you, back off the wall just like this. A lot easier. If this is even tough for you, ditch the wall, arms out in front, and just rotate. 
We're gonna do five reps here. Again, about like a four to five count all the way to the other side. And uh, let's do it. So five reps on each side. So again, closest, closest leg, the, cl the wall, the leg and the wall that are next to each other. That one's on front. Arms on front. Closest hand to the wall. Let's make that big arc. Look at your hand. That will help you rotate. And then let's bring it back. Let's make that nice big arc. Good. One. Two. Good. Three. I'm going to challenge myself a little bit, get a little bit closer to the wall. Let's do four. Oh, a lot tougher. Good. Four. Let's go into our last one. Awesome. I'm going to turn my back to you guys and we're going to hit the other side. And let's get started. One hand or one hand on the wall. Big arc. Good one. Two. Good. Three. Good. Four. Last one. Nice and tall arc. All right. Five reps. T-spine, windmill, half kneeling. Let's finish it up with just a nice light trap stretch. We're gonna be seated. Grab my timer here. You can be kneeling, you can be cross-legged, it doesn't matter. One hand behind the back, pull that shoulder down and back so your shoulder's away from your ear. Take one hand, place it on the other side of your head and just slightly tug. Think like you're doing, trying to bring your ear down to your shoulder. We're gonna just shoot for 30 seconds here. Breathe through it, don't pull too hard. Very sensitive the neck. And let's get it started, 30 seconds on each side. Again, for me, I feel a nice little stretch here anymore might just be a little too uncomfortable. So find kind of that perfect spot where it just stretches, you know, just a little bit, but it's not too uncomfortable. Five more seconds. Good, switch it up. Same thing on the other side. We'll go maybe five more seconds after the, you hear the beep. So don't stop when you hear the beep. We'll hold it for five more seconds. Good. Keep holding it. Don't stop. Two. One. All right. 30 seconds total. Neck stretch. The trap. And that's it for the mobility exercise and stretches, but we always finish it up with a strengthener, a stability exercise to kind of tie everything together. This week, we're going to work on shoulder taps. Shoulder taps are really good for just core. It's going to also be really good for the shoulder. And another thing about the core, it's not just working the front, we're working on some rotational stuff too, because we're going to be tapping each shoulder with one hand, which means one hand's off the ground. It's gonna make us try to rotate. So let's get set up here. All right, I'm gonna show you the version on your knees. So imagine doing knee push-ups. Hips 
are close to the ground or you're squeezing the glutes from the side, it will look like this. Don't do this, do this. And then from here, we're going to lift one hand up and touch the opposite shoulder without rotating. So when we're lifting up that, sh that hand to tap the shoulder, what I want you to do is keep the core nice and tight, keep the butt nice and tight, push away from the floor, and that's what it looks like. I don't want to see this, don't want to see this. Very steady with all the movements. If that's too easy for you, you're like, Joe, I'm stronger than that. Push up position, legs wide, and then shoulder taps. Closer the feet, the tougher it is. Find the version that works for you, but this is gonna help tie everything together. You need some strength to make the flexibility and mobility last. So let's go for it. I'm gonna shoot for just knees on the ground today. Again, keys here, squeeze butt, push away from the floor, try not to rotate. Don't hold your breath either. Let's go, 10 reps on each side. Okay, good, here we go. So let's tap, one, one, good, two, two, three, nice and slow, three, don't rotate, four, good, four, five, five, push away from the floor, six, six, seven, seven, almost there, eight, Eight, nine, nine, last one, 10, and 10.